Mongoose Jake here with another big power electric blaster review, this time taking a look at the Model 507. This is a little bit of a departure from the others in that this one is actually pretty compact. The uh, 508 is what comes closest to mine, but this one has an even shorter stock. And at first glance, it almost looks like this is a pump action, but it is not. It is their tried and true now semi-auto flywheel setup with a Nerf-esque uh, rev trigger and that similar grip that they've had that has great comfort on the grip as well as the forward mag release which is again very intuitive. The same operation as usual load up your darts in the mag, load up your batteries in the uh, battery tray here which is located here on the left hand side one Phillips screw like some of the other models and put all six double A's in. Again, keeping with the theme here, Big Power Electric does mostly all semi-auto flywheelers for now as their initial release, running on six double A's with that rev trigger and a very much, say, Dart Zone or Adventure Force Spectrum kind of look to the base blaster and different body kits surrounding it. Now this one, it is again, a little shorter, but it does operate the exact same way. Rev it. Rev and fire. Simple as can be. Very intuitive. And again, the same quality as all. But I'm going to have to note something. As I just reviewed the 532. And I love the 536. And the 531. And all the others. This is in the exact same ballpark range of price. Now... The problem is, is at $46, I wouldn't pick this one. Now, for me, it comes down specifically to this. Because what the Big Power Electric experience kind of is overall is the base blaster, again, this one actually performs a little bit better than the 531 that I, or 536 that I just reviewed, and even better than the 531. This is actually hitting about 78 feet per second on the base blaster. So when I... When I chronographed it, I take the muzzle off and fire it through the chrono uh, as many as 50 times at the minimum, and as I should say at least 50 times, and as much as a couple hundred. And this one, I fired it about 100 times, and it was hitting about 78.1 feet per second. Which again, the last one I just reviewed was hitting at about 75.2. So a few feet per second, and that just comes down to, you know, motors, wheels, everything working just, you know, at, peak efficiency compared to, you know, maybe the wheel spacing on that's not quite at perfection. You know, we are talking about a off-brand product still, so there is going to be some variance. But 78 feet per second, so a little hotter than the last one. And for me, that's a good thing. But this stock is going to be what, what for me, I wouldn't pick it. And that's where it boils down to the big power electric line, you find what you like, and it's kind of like how people were buying you know, a appearance kit for a Strife. You know, those a couple of years ago were really big. You'd buy the Strife, you'd mod it, you'd put what, whatever body kit you want on it, and then you'd either hydro dip it or paint it to your liking. Well, that's what Big Power Electric kind of is offering. And this one here, the 507, is going to be where I was noting on the 531, the 532, the 536, those are all a little bit large blasters, you know, meant for a full-size nerfer to be able to stretch out and get comfortable for a change instead of feeling all choked up. Well, yeah, we got the choked up look. <laughs> I mean, you can see here with my arm, when I get into a normal position here, this is, this is how you would look. I mean, I'm not going to attempt to put my eye to that because it would be literally jabbing me in the eye. So, very, very short package here. Now, of course, the stock is the stock point. You have to push down the button on both sides. It is compatible with Nerf. So, for me, I love the Nerf Raider stock. Now, all of a sudden, this looks just right. And the blue is almost close enough. So, it, it would work just as is. But, that's what it needs. For me, to, for at least me to be comfortable. So, this one... And yes, I love the fact that it's completely cross-compatible. Again, just like I had said on the 532, this is fully compatible with Nerf drums. I ran a 35-round drum through it, cycled just perfectly fine. And 
it can accept whatever accessories on the front you want. And like me, my go-to is the Nerf Modulus. Little, uh, it looks like the drilled out, you know, flash hider. And the one single rail on top is also Nerf compatible. Keeps with the theme. Completely compatible with Nerf accessories and drums even. Good solid performance, good quality. This is just going to be the setup that you would pick if you're looking for a really compact blaster, but you don't want to go sand stock entirely. Like me, I would probably just run this without the stock and just remove everything and just run it like this. That would be my, my take on it. But that would come down to you because it is at basically the exact same price as the 532 that I just reviewed last. I mean, I'm recording these back to back. So for me, I wouldn't go for this one because it doesn't suit me. It doesn't fit me. And the few feet per second, I mean, that's a nice little bonus to get 78 feet per second instead of 75. Both are higher than Nerf 70 FPS average. But for me, I would have to pass on this one because it just doesn't fit me. But that's where I would go back to, well, the 532. <laughs> And that's the beauty of the big power electric line. The base blaster is pretty much identical, and the body kits are what you pick and choose to find what you like. But, again, same quality, same same exact grip, so it feels great, completely ergonomic. The uh, mag release is, again, that very intuitive design right here up front, looking at it right here, which being right in front of the trigger means the same finger, whether you're right or left-handed, the same trigger you use to fire is also the same one you use to release the mag. It's just, it makes sense. So again, the quality, everything's there, feels just as solid as the others. The accessories feel exactly the same quality, but I would just have to pass on this because it's just not the right size. It's like trying to buy too small a pair of pants. It just doesn't work. It never does. It ends up with you ripping them while you're out in public. But this, somebody out there is going to like it, and it almost looks like a pump action. It's like, I want to I want to prime it that way, especially since I'm a Springer guy. That's Mongo Shake saying, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this on the Big Power Electric 507. A little too compact for me, but somebody out there might find this to be more appealing than I did. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.